This is a 1957 Chevy that we built up for Calvin Samuelson. Um, basically, we you know smooth the car out as best we could. You know, there's a lot of a lot of rough uh, body work and stuff that you have to do when you're doing a car like this because obviously they're not new cars. Uh, taking a lot of patch panels and a lot of sheet metal fabrication and things like that. Um, but then we also took it to the next level, like uh, shaving off the uh, rear 57 Chevy inserts, and I smoothed that and then painted all the inserts back in to give it, there again, a little bit extra added touch, plus it's a whole lot easier to clean. Um, and then, you know, things like uh, the, the rocker panels that are shaved and, and capped on the bottom, so that way the body line runs down the body of the car underneath and right back up to the bottom. We actually completely welded all the braces and floor supports underneath the bottom of the car and smoothed and molded everything together. So the bottom of the car realistically looks more like a, a fiberglass piece than it, than it looks like an original, but it is the original floor and original supports on the bottom of the car. The inside of the door jams where the sheet metal is typically pinched and, and tack welded, uh, we actually welded them completely and then completely smoothed it out so that that way when you open up the door it, it is basically seamless. I wanted the body to jump off the car a little bit more and the flames to, I guess, disappear and reappear. So it's actually got three coats of orange pearl on the flames, two coats of orange pearl over the original Lamborghini Pearl Orange. And then on the insets of the flames, I did the Art Hemsel style inset cup with two different colors of flame with a pink and a blue to actually create the Hemsel style flame but in a ghosted type format. It really gives it the illusion that, you know, if the light isn't hitting that pearl, it just disappears into the rest of the pearl. And then with me fading the, the flames back into the original color on the front of the car, if you're just looking at it in the front and then in the rear, there's really no change in the color difference there. We took the interior dash and painted that and then made a center console piece that actually has the exact same line as the exterior of the car. And then we went one step further and cut the rear deck out, dropped it down, put in a set of triangle subwoofers and brought the center console all the way back into the trunk and down into the bottom of the trunk floor. Uh, so that way, as you look into the back of the trunk, you actually see an opening that goes all the way up to the inside of the car. And then at the inside of the car, if you look back, you see all the way back into the trunk. Trent's Trick Upholstery did a really nice job on coming up with some ideas that I had uh, with the center console and the stereo and a lot of tricks that he has as far as wrapping the panels and giving them a nice sculpted and, and fluid look. All the wheels and tires are uh, 18s and 20s. Um, it's got um, a Bond Speed wheel. I like the style of the wheel and I thought it fit the style of the way the car was going to be going. Uh, the motor is a small block Chevy that's been uh, bored and stroked. It's a uh, Vortec carbureted supercharger system, smooth painted uh, to match the exterior of the car. Uh, I painted the top of the Vortec to kind of give it a little bit more enhanced look instead of just being everything all polished. The valve covers and everything are polished and chromed. Um, it does have a stainless steel four inch inlet going into the supercharger that actually still uses the original 57 Chevy air intake above the headlight, which was kind of a nice touch to use the original air intake system. So it kind of creates the rammed air uh, effect on the car. It's got Willwood brakes all the way around it that have been all completely ground smooth and, and painted to match the exterior of the car. Uh, it's got a uh, six piston uh, front and four piston rears. It's got good sized rotors. Um, definitely plenty of stopping ability, that's not a problem. The suspension is coil over, uh, four link in the rear, and just a coiled tubular control arm front suspension. Uh, makes it handle pretty well. It, it is fully adjustable in the rear also because the car was originally set up for drag racing. If he ever decides to drag race it, I'll probably slap him though. <laughs> Uh, the headlights are actually the, uh, the diamond cut tri-bar headlights. Uh, it actually has a little marker light actually inside the headlight also. Uh, the, the front original 57 emblem that's in the front of the center of the grille, most of them are red, white, and blue traditionally. Uh, I just didn't like the way that the colors went with the colors on the car. So I actually sandblasted the back side of it and meticulously hand painted each little piece again to make it so that it had the same colors as the rest of the car so it matches the car a lot better. Well, 
this is really the market that I would like to see us get more into. I really like the high-tech, high-end cars. I have a good vision, I have a good idea for different things like that, but at the same time, we still do a lot of, you know, just basic custom paint jobs. I mean, I call them basic, but you know, most people probably wouldn't call them basic. But that's really probably the stuff that I enjoy the most, is just being able to get into the paint booth and, and you know, pop something out that people are just blown away by. So we still want to do the fabrication and we still want to do the complete builds, but at the same time, we really like doing just the nice custom paint jobs on a car that, let's say you've already got done and had done for five years and you want to give it a new look, you know, we can always go come in there, you know, sand it down and, you know, add a 53 color paint job if you want.